Um, it seems like you guys possess the puck pretty evenly, but what was the biggest factor behind you guys not being able to get as many shots off? Um, I think part of it was we kind of overlooked uh, some decent opportunities. Uh, obviously, they, they did a great job of getting in our shooting lanes, and uh, we just didn't find uh, do a good enough job of getting the puck to the net. Other questions for AJ? Ken? Ken John from the Schenectady Gazette. AJ, Sam Annis, you know, looked like he was not going to play, or he was a questionable decision both nights. Just the goal he scored, was that the backbreaker, you think, the way he scored that goal? Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, the third period, we battled back as hard as we could. Uh, we just didn't get any bounces there. Uh, very proud of how we, we kind of responded after going down two goals. So, I mean, uh, that's just kind of the character we had in the room, and unfortunately, it just didn't go our way tonight. Other questions for AJ out there? Yep. Uh, AJ Barry Scown, Lowell Sun. Uh, obviously, a tough defeat. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard it, but the, uh, the fans were chanting, uh, "Thank you to the seniors for the 100 victories." Uh, I don't know if you heard it. If you did, what, what did it mean to you? Um, obviously, it means a lot, uh, especially to all the seniors. Uh, it's just a tremendous group that we had, and it's not just all of us. It's the group that we had before us and the group we had this year that helped us contribute to everything we had. And uh, just thankful to be a part of uh, everything that's happened so far. Before we field some questions for Coach Bazin, we'll just have him um, start with a brief opening statement on tonight's game. Please. Well, I'd like to congratulate uh, Quinnipiac on moving uh, on to the Frozen Four. It um, wasn't a good enough effort on our part, and the better team won tonight. Thanks, Coach. We'll start it out right up front with Sean. Uh, Coach Sean Martin with the Albany Times Union. They controlled the play, at least shots on goal in that second period, got the two goals, but how big was that third goal? you think you could have kept that one out and gone into the locker room just down one? It might have been a different uh, third period. Yeah, it could have been. That's hockey, you know, even down two. Um, I thought we could have a, a much better third than we had the previous two. And I thought we made a push. But uh, when you push that hard, you also give stuff up, as you saw. Other questions for Coach? <clears throat> Ken? Arm Ken Shaw from the Schenectady Gazette. You know, Annis makes it 2-1, and Zink has a chance there coming out of the penalty box. I mean, how important was that play? If you get that goal, I mean, you get the momentum back. Yeah, I thought it was a turning point in the game. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's one of our best on breakaway. So uh, you couldn't have asked for a better guy to be going down. And uh, Gartek made a nice save. And it's definitely a turning point in the game. Uh, Jeff Cox with SB Nation. Coach, after that first period, it seemed like Quinnipiac changed a little bit of their you know, neutral zone play, which made, you know, kind of, I thought, turn the possession game around. Do you, what do you think they did so well after that first period? <clears throat> there were several adjustments made throughout the game. I, I thought uh, they were a little heavy on their sticks. They could get pucks out. And, um, you know, their layers are obviously tough to penetrate. You saw by the shot totals. Um, I thought we passed up on a lot of shots. You just can't do that against these guys. You, you have to get direct pucks to the net front, and we just didn't do that today. Other questions out there for Coach? Uh, Norm, no, any uh, frustration on the bench because of all those block shots that Quinnipiac was, was really shutting down on your shooting lanes? Oh, there's no question they did a good job of blocking shots. Uh, frustration, yeah, there's frustration throughout the game. At the same time, it, it's a game of hockey. You know, we have to find a way to get uh, shots through, and we didn't do that tonight. So it's, uh, there's bouts of frustration throughout every hockey game. In, in any event, uh, certainly uh, we had to do a better job, and it wasn't there. Uh, NATO and USHO. Uh, Sam Manis was questionable for both games this weekend. Does that change your game planning, knowing that he might not be 100% entering tonight? Not a bit. You know, he's a good hockey player. Obviously, he showed why. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, we don't change a game plan for, for anybody. At the same time, it's, 
he, he's uh, he's somebody that probably at 60 percent is as good as some at 100. So he capitalized tonight, and good for him. Right over here. Victoria Tigliano, Q30 Television. Going to this game, you guys had a pretty great goals against average. So what do you think it was specifically about Quinnipiac's offense that was able to generate so much offense in your zone? Yeah, they seem to throw everything to the net. And you know what? Sometimes you get a few uh, lucky bounces. And I certainly uh, thought that uh, they create a lot of uh, chaos from all their uh, net front traffic and all their shots directed towards the net. So that was uh, the bulk of it right there. Other questions out there for Coach? Yep. Coach, no. Coach, I know it's early, but you know this senior class with the hundred victories, and you know if you had said that to someone six, seven years ago, they probably would have not believed it. What can you say about the senior class and kind of the way that they've helped turn the program around? <laughs> yeah, it's a special group. Uh, including this group is Connor Hellebuck and Christian Fallen, who signed after their sophomore seasons. And uh, the rest of these guys, there's a good group of six seniors in there that have gotten a, a, a whole bunch for the program. And to hit triple digits, you know, the winningest class in the history of the program, enough said, they, um, they did a great deal and that they should be very proud and they will be in the years to come. Other questions out there? Thank you.